How's it going everybody? I have a really happy video to share with you guys today. And that is that we are beginning getting... How's it going everybody? I got a super happy video to share with you guys today. And that is that we are going to be getting a ton of Captain Britain shards right on the community in a bunch of different ways that actually seem to be free to play friendly. So how can you prepare for that? We're going to talk about that in this video right now uh, and let's just get to it let's get through this blog that they're going to be releasing in a few hours and that is that captain britain is returning so illuminati's secret is out captain britain's character shards are coming back unlock and rank up the champion of the british isles with this upcoming limited opportunity captain britain's return will give everybody multiple ways to grab captain britain shards so make sure you take advantage of each to maximize your rewards candy store the king size tree captain Britain's entered the candy store on october 14th at 2 p.m where you'll be able to use candy to purchase his shards check back to get more of your fill so that already happened he is still in there i do want to go to the game for just a second um so they did fix the crimson unique part and now he is actually only showing up in the slot where sasquatch is he does still seem to have the most horrible drop rate imaginable but don't worry that's not where you're going to be getting the lion's share of these shards. So, the Illuminati Super Showcase. The Illuminati Super Showcase will return for everyone, regardless of whether you completed it. And this time, you'll be able to earn Captain Britain character shards from the mission rewards. There will be no yellow star requirements or shields needed for the return of the showcase. The showcase will use the Illuminati Showcase Energy. The Illuminati Showcase Energy will start before... The next legendary event. So 100% guaranteed you will have Captain Britain before Shadow King comes to the game. What does that mean? Probably nothing. Because if you have Shuri at five stars, you have Hank at five stars, you're probably going to be doing difficulties like 11, 12 if they still have those gates on it. And I don't think Captain Britain is going to be required for that. But he's still an amazing character to have. And we'll see. Maybe we can get him to five stars maybe six stars it's gonna depend on how you prioritize things for sure but there is light at the end of this tunnel right now the special milestone event so okay it also depends how many characters we're getting in the super showcase by the way last time in the super showcase we got the shields and then like after you got three shields you got a hundred captain british shards you got the base unlock right okay there's so much we gotta talk about for the super showcase last time in the illuminati showcase not only did they get um three stars on captain britain they also got a free diamond so i'm super curious are we gonna get free red stars here are we gonna get that diamond this is very curious because th this is a dpc character this would seismically shift the dark promotion credit priority list that we put out not too long ago we talked about diamonds because i do think captain britain whatever yellow stars you get on him if you like crucible Honestly, if you like Alliance War 2, if you like both of those modes and you want the team to be the best they can be in like Sword Satellite, maybe if they're going to be needed for an upcoming uh, Battle World mission, Captain Britain's going to be the guy. So I'm super happy that it does seem they are opening the floodgates here. But I'm curious to see, do we get the free red stars for him? Like those who unlocked him right away did? Are you going to get the diamond? My baby account is salivating right now at the thought of getting free red stars not having to worry about dark promotions being able to keep focusing on old man logan scroll soon to be shadow king and oh my god dbcs are crazy they have been giving us more lately which does give me hope that it's going to be for free anyway let's continue on special milestone event so use the illuminati super showcase to not only grab more captain britain shards but to feed this milestone points by Spending Illuminati Showcase Energy, opening Illuminati Orbs. So here's going to be another source of Captain Britain shards. So milestone rewards include more Captain Britain shards, so grab as many as you can. The Illuminati Orbs. With the return of the showcase, the Illuminati Orb will also be made available. These orbs will contain character shards for Captain Britain, Hank Pym, Black Panther Shuri, along with Illuminati Showcase Energy and candy for the candy store. My guys! So... Let's just get this into perspective, okay? The Illuminate Showcase, okay, use the Illuminate Showcase not only to grab Captain Britain shards, but to feed this milestone points by spending Illuminati Showcase energy, opening Illuminati orbs. Okay, I read this wrong. I maybe the Illuminati orbs are only gonna be for spenders. For some reason, I thought spending the Showcase energy would get you the orbs, would get you a little bit more of the energy. Okay, I'm too excited. We need to calm down a bit. They seem to be being a little bit more compromising let's say for Captain Britain than they, than they have been in the past and they were for Juggernaut for sure, but it's not too much. Okay, 
So the Illuminati Orbs, probably going to be spender only. Maybe they'll give you a free a free claim one or two. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, they, they tell you. Oh my god, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Free daily web claims and promo codes. we got to keep an eye out for a promo code. Oh, I'm going to try and sneak that promo code early. Let's go. All right. But these orbs will only have Captain Britain, Hank Pym, Black Panther Shuri. So only the three new characters, along with the showcase energy, which you can use to get Captain Britain, and candy for the candy star. I, I need to reread this just in case I'm going crazy. The Limited Super Showcase will return for everyone, regardless whether you complete or not. And this time, you'll be able to earn Captain Britain shards from Mission Rewards. Mission Rewards does not mean from farming it, but possibly you'll be able to. We'll have to wait and see. There's no yellow star requirements. So wait, you don't even need Hank Pym Shuri at five stars to get this done. So new players that just barely got them unlocked or can get them unlocked via the current candy store can get Captain Britain probably easier that way. Ooh, that's a lot to digest. Okay, let's simmer down. I do think the Illuminati orbs, the lion's share of Illuminati orbs are gonna be right here, right? The limited time offers, but we'll probably get hopefully one a day in the free claims, even if, especially if it's only gonna give like one shard, right? If it's gonna be those terrible, like you can get one shard or you can get a hundred if you hit the one in 250 jackpot. Uh, maybe they'll give us one a day there. We'll probably get four for the promo code of those kind of orbs. And then hopefully lots of people hit the jackpot. But here's the part that has me the most excited guys. Gotta be honest. Cause I do think the super showcase probably gets you a hundred. The candy store, uh, if it's available for all 20 days, which I do think it's gonna be, then that could probably get you to four star, battle pass and strike pass. Two more great ways to grab Captain Britain shards of the Battle Pass and Strike Pass. Captain Britain goes into the Battle Pass starting November 18th and then into the Strike Pass November 25th. To earn more shards for the opportunities, you can purchase the Premium Pass for each. Keep an eye out to start. This to me, what does this say to you guys? This to me says that Shadow King is going to start somewhere around here, right? So that people want to buy the Premium Plus Pass, whatever it is, to get more Captain Britain shards faster. But what I'd like to do, if you'll humor me for a second, is go in game and let's just count out how many shards they're currently giving away. It doesn't mean that this is what they would give away for Captain Britain when he comes, because I mean, they control this figure, right? They choose how much they put in here. Let's do free to play first. So there'd be five. Ooh, it's a big dip. 10, <laughs> uh, 15, 20, 30, 40. So 40 free to play in the strike pass. Let's go check out the battle pass. In the battle pass, I mean, Ares is kind of special, uh, but I do think he still has the same amount of shards they would normally give. Could be wrong. I mean, again, this is up to them, right? So that'd be five. Do, 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 10, I believe it's 40, 40. 15, 25, 30. Weird that I went from 10 to five. 30, do, 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 40. So free to play just from the battle pass and the strike pass. If it if it mirrors this, which I do think it will, you would get 80 shards just from those passes, from the story, you could definitely pick up 20 from whatever the showcase is gonna be. I kind of think you're gonna pick up 100. So I'm kind of looking at free to play, people that are not refreshed in the candy store to try and get him even higher that don't hit jackpots in the orbs. I think everyone's gonna end up with a four star Captain Burton is what I think is gonna happen. But let's count out the, uh, the the extra passes on top of that. So that's an extra 10. Do, do, I think it's 60. 20. Uh, 35. 55. 75. Ooh, it's a lot more than I thought it was. That's a lot more than I thought it was. What the heck? 95. Oh my God. That's so much more than I thought it was. Can I, let me just make sure that's right. Yeah, 95 shards. I don't know why I just didn't do that from the beginning. I'm a silly person. 95 shards. And I got to assume it's going to mirror this. Let's just do this. Save us the time. Just 35? 20? No, no. That's just what I'm going to be claiming. Okay, hold on. 20. 35. Uh, 50. 65. 80. 100. If they have anywhere close to these numbers and you are a pass buyer, I think if you go hard in all these events, I think you're walking away with a six star Captain Britain, which is crazy and it's good and it's about damn time. That's all I got for you today. I'm super excited about this. Let me know how you guys are feeling about what feels like an actual release method, right? And not just a release method, but a really, really generous one. 
So, Captain Britain coming back. Showcase. Do you think we're going to get those red stars and that diamond for free? Going to the uh, the strike pass and the battle pass. Do you think we're going to get those? I guess it looks like it's nearly 150 if you're a pass buyer, which is crazy cool. And how many of these orbs do you think we're going to get for free? We'll have to wait and see. And guys, keep refreshing that canister. I am telling you, even a mid-level Captain Britain five stars opens up a world of possibilities in Crucible. So if you like Crucible, you definitely want to be going hard during this time frame where Captain Britain is going to be available. I hope this video finds you well. If it does and you enjoy the video, please make sure you leave it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. But that's it for me, guys. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Stay happy, stay healthy, and have fun. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.